Welcome to Story Imagination. The Trimurtis of Hinduism are Lord Brahma, the Creator, Lord Vishnu, the Protector, and Lord Shiva, the Destroyer of Evil. There are many temples dedicated to Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu. There are also temples housing both Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu's idols. Special days and festivals are observed in their names, like Shivratri and Ekadashi. The two have also assumed various avatars. But have you noticed there are not many temples dedicated to Lord Brahma? He is the creator, the god of wisdom, and all the four Vedas. But still, he is not worshipped. Ever wondered why? Listen to this story to find out. Today's story is from the Shiva Purana. It tells us about three things. One, about the first appearance of Lord Shiva in a linga form. Two, why Lord Brahma is not worshipped. And three, why Ketaki flower, a beautiful and fragrant one used for making perfumes and aromatic oils, is not offered during worship. According to Shiva Purana, once there was a quarrel between Lord Brahma and Lord Vishnu. Lord Brahma felt he is the greatest as he has created the whole world. Lord Vishnu said that he is the one who maintains and protects the whole world, so he is the greatest. As the argument started getting worse, the Devas got worried and approached Lord Shiva for help. Lord Shiva took the form of a huge pillar of light and appeared between them. The pillar of light extended beyond the sky at one end and to the Pata Lok or the underworld at the other end. Lord Shiva said, Stop fighting you two. Whoever first finds the ends of me will be declared the greatest. Lord Brahma and Lord Vishnu agreed and set off to explore the beginning and the end of the light. Lord Vishnu took the form of a wild boar, his third avatar from Dashavatar, and started digging the earth to reach the Pata Lok. Lord Brahma sat on a swan, his vahana, and started flying towards the sky. As Brahma kept reaching the sky, the pillar of fire too kept growing. At one point, he saw a Ketaki flower floating down. He stopped the flower and inquired, O oh, Ketaki flower, where are you coming from? I fell off from the head of Lord Shiva, who has taken the form of this pillar of light. Oh, so do you know how far I have to travel to find the end? Sorry, Lord Brahma, I have no idea as I have been travelling for years to reach the earth from the time I fell off. Hearing this, Lord Brahma knew it was difficult to find the end. He then requested Ketaki. Ketaki, when we reach earth, tell Lord Vishnu that I have seen the top end of this pillar and brought you along with me as a witness. Ketaki could not refuse as it was a request from the God of creation. When Lord Brahma came back, he saw Vishnu already waiting for him. Lord Vishnu said, This pillar seems to have no end, so I decided to come back. I accept my defeat and feel humbled. But Lord Brahma was egoistic and didn't want to accept defeat. He said, But I saw the end and have got this flower from there, and looked at the flower, who nodded, saying yes. Lord Shiva, hearing this, became furious. Oh Lord Brahma, you are lying. I curse you that no one will worship you, celebrate your festivals or build temples for you. And I curse you too, Ketuki, for being a false witness. Nobody will offer you for worshipping. Ketuki flower bowed down to Lord Shiva and pleaded for mercy, saying she could not go against Lord Brahma's words. Lord Shiva then told her, I cannot take back my curse, but will excuse you. From now on, people will offer you for worship only on Mahashivratri. He then turned to Lord Vishnu and said, You will hold a very dear place in my heart for being honest. So this is the reason why Lord Brahma is not worshipped. Ketaki flower has no place in any puja except on Mahashivratri. The day Lord Shiva appeared as a pillar of light or fire, is celebrated as Mahashivratri, his first appearance in the form of a Jyotirlinga. Just like Ketaki flower, 
Lord Brahma too realized his mistake and asked for forgiveness. There is a story on how Lord Shiva blessed him to get relieved of his sin. I will tell you the story some other day. Om Namah Shivaya. Happy Mahashivratri to all.